I know they know what I mean about the thing. That is the service. This is the fellowship. Hallelujah. This is the fellowship. You know, in Africa continent, we have the largest army in the world. You know that, right? Not in the United States, not in Western world, or not other part of the world. Africa is the largest salvation army in the whole wide world. You know, because I strongly believe and I witness and I experience today because you take this blood of Jesus Christ, the purity and the fire of the Holy Spirit on the feet. On the feet. Because of that. And when you just dance and sing and you give your money, when you give your talent and gift, I see the joy. Amen. I see the joy. Amen. And God blessing you. Amen. 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 God blessing you. Amen. When I come before and I'm excited to preach the word of God, I choose the title Together We Are One. Amen. You heard that what I said? Yeah. Together we are one. We are strong. We are powerful. Yeah. Because together, and I, when I see the message, one army, one mission, one message. Hallelujah. Yeah. Even I know some of them not going to understand 100% the language I'm going to speak, the English. But uh, uh, it's not a matter. The matter is, we are one in the Lord of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let the Holy Spirit go lead us and guide us and touch each other. What a beautiful scenario here we I can see from here. Uh, my wife and I are from India, born raised over there. The boys born raised in the United States, get cows back home, the girls born in the United States. That is the hand right here. Hallelujah. Amen. You have a dreams. Whatever thing. You come from not different country, different continent. You have that what I said? Different continent and come in a one room and praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at Major. Thank you very much. To give this opportunity, give this topic. This is a the holy place to go and share the word of God. Not because who I am, but I what I belong to him and I belong to Jesus Christ. I'm a child of God. Amen. Because of that, we are one together. We are one together. If we are not to one together, we are not going to progress. We are not going to have blessings. You know, you have few days back, a few weeks back, you have African summit. That's all. Yeah. Why they have summit? People learning from the Bible, even nature learning from the Bible. They know we cannot survive, we cannot solve the problem. They want to come together. They said, let's come together, resolve the issue. Resolve the issue of energy. Resolve the issue of uh, a financial crisis. They are learning from the Bible. The thing about if the king is saying, oh no, we don't want the Nigeria, Nigeria, we don't want the Sudan or something else. The people become separate and now going to progress. Not going to be wise. People are going to be poor. People are without a job. When we come together, resolve the issue, we're going to work together and we're going to reach our top. Amen? Amen. We all the learning from the word of God. If we're going to keep the difference, we know the progress. In the church also, same thing. Somebody can sing, somebody can dance, somebody can share the word of God, somebody can uh, temple it. Whatever you do, you bring the joy of the Lord and you come together as a one. Amen. Now think about it. Just think for a second. If you divide it, the band will say, you know, I don't like the choir. Uh, my band is good. The choir said, no. The 
band is not good. The choir is a cop. The glow said, no, we are the good. I don't think so. Anybody will think so. When we come together, it sounds sweet, sweet sound in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 That is all about. That is all about. This people when we got together and someone in the church, especially in the United States, I'm not talking about here in Kenya because I know you are very interested to come to the church. And I wake up 8 o'clock is 1 30. In the United States, people are in the street from 1 30 after the church. <laughs> They're thinking about the baseball game, football game, or lunch, where we're going to eat, what we're going to do. They already have lunch because they know the service is going to be finished from 11 o'clock to 1, like 12 30, one and a half hour service. They already have lunch. And not only that, they have lunch, they gave a lot of excuse. I'm not feeling well, or I'm doing this, I'm doing that. They not show up for the church. A lot of excuse. The thing for a Christian, if we not come together, worship the Lord, what will happen to us? What will happen to us? Think for a second. You see, you bring the blessing, you bring the joy, you sacrifice your time, you do doing something else, but you come in the church to worship the Lord. That's the blessing you don't receive it and you give it to us. Amen? Amen. What Louis said, she wants to take that blessing back over there. Hallelujah. You catch the heart of the young girl today. You heard me what I said? Only one person needs the spirit or one fire, a little bit, to fire somebody else. Amen. Because when I want to say something, people say, oh, he's a preacher, he's a uh, major. He want to say everything what he wants to say. When the young girl wants to say it to someone, an other teenager, that's going to make a difference. Amen. Because she experienced witness with her own eyes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That's the come togetherness. We are one. One message. One army. One mission. Hallelujah. Amen. These people want to come together. When people come together in a one place like this, physically, mentally, but also for one purpose. Hallelujah. Amen. For one purpose. They are all same mind. Many of us have a body in a one place. Maybe you have a body of your mind in one place, but you are thinking somewhere else. What I told you before, in our church, people only have plan. They say, okay, Sunday afternoon, 12 30, I'm going to eat. Or this restaurant, they already choose the restaurant, or they're going to eat at home or something. They only have plan. They're physically sitting like you in a one place, but mind is somewhere else. You heard me what I said? The mind is somewhere else. They, they're not in. The worship and the oneness in a one place. Our mind are thinking about the problems, our home problems, or any other problems because our mind is not here. Or some beauty, or anything you just name it. Anything you just name it. But when we are here together, in a one spirit, in a oneness, worship together. God and one purpose. God always hear and touch people. Amen. Amen. Whatever you do, you gather like 300, 400 people, but you want to touch one life. One life. I understand that your local language, but Holy Century talk about. 2003 and 4 about the open air. Yeah. And she still not forget. Somebody can mathematics. I heard somebody mathematician. If 2003 and 2030, uh, 23 is almost like how many years? 20 years. Yeah. 20 years she still remember about the open air. And I can see that because a lot of open and a lot of outreach or you are together to bring the joy together. That's why this is growing spiritually. Amen? Amen. 
Big hands to yourself. Big hands to yourself. Give your hand to yourself because we are together in a one place. Together we are strong. In this passage read by my friends, Paul is writing the Christian to encourage. Keep unity within the church. Unity does not simply come. Unity not come simply because we are human beings. I have a family of my two sons, my wife. When we are together, the older one thinking something else. The younger one thinking something else. My wife thinking something else. But we are trying to come together for one purpose. Amen. So think about in church, you have 100, 200 people. If you don't have one purpose, one message, one mission, one army, you are scared. The enemy will be attacking you. And I want to give you one more, what I observe. You are surrounded by, I don't know how to say it. Not to use nice people. You are surrounded by unclean spirit. Put it this way. God has mission for this book. God puts you for the reason to gather in one place. Yes. Your presence, your togetherness, your love, and one thing will touch the people around you. Hallelujah. Amen. They will see how you feel the joy in the oneness in Christ. People will be changed. What we said, you cannot force missionary. You don't tell people believe on this word. They have to experience their own. Hallelujah. Amen. When they see you, they experience why they have such a joy. Why they're giving so much. Why they're spending so much time together. What is the reason they're going to be curious? They're going to be curious. And once they're curious, they try to find, and then they get the life. Amen? Amen. Because togetherness. Amen. So what Paul said, he wants to encourage. And not only that, he know that Paul know that the simply the togetherness, the unity is not going to come together. God has picked up the delighted of Christ on the earth. Paul invited us. To live, there is deserving of the name of Christian. We should be peaceful. You have that? We should be peaceful people. We not should killing or, or, or uh, hit somebody or force somebody of what we believe. We are the peaceful people. Patient. We have to be patient with people. Other people, even they don't believe on us, they don't do the things what the we do. We have to be patient with them. We have to show the Christ. The love to them. Amen? Amen. With patience. Gentle. We have to be gentle with other people. That's why they have to be very uh, carefully use the word when you are at this moment. Because I have to be gentle. Naturally, I'm not a gentle man. I'm telling you a fact. I'm not very gentle man. I'm a very aggressive man. I'm very, very aggressive. But Lord tried to teach me to gentle with others. Hallelujah. Amen. I have to be gentle because I'm learning about the word of God. Not only that, we have to be humble. You hear me what I said? We have to be humble. Amen. I figured out in Kenya, people are very humble. Very, very humble. Where I was born and raised, the policeman, if you stop you on the street, when you drive in Kenya, in Kenya, a few places, they stop, they talk very nice until they go. Where I'm from, for one race, when policemen stop you, and you try to speak English, and he not understand, he could be slapped. <laughs> Believe it or not. If you go to the airport, if you're coming from the United States, and you say, oh, too hot, I want to go early. They say, hey, stand here. 
If you make too much noise, you're going to put something in your back. You're going to stand all night here. You hear me? Like that. When I landed in Kenya, people in the airport so nice. I said, I'm hungry. They yeah, sure. Please, they are so nice. So wonderful. They are very humble. Very, very humble. So that is, I, I strongly believe that Kenyan is learning from the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. How to be humble. I think that the reason of where I've born and raised, the gospel not reached so far over there. We have humble people. There yeah, we have humble people, not the way his king it is. I'm so glad I'm here. Amen. Unity is the role of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Unity is the role of the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit is not going to come, if you are divided, the Holy Spirit is not going to knock your door if you're divided. Same thing I told you, all 52 nations in Africa, if they are united, they're not going to progress. They're learning from the word of God. The word of God says, the Holy Spirit will come when you are united. Amen. You will understand everything, whatever good happening around you, because you together, one army, one mission, one message. Hallelujah. Amen. Because Holy Spirit will touch you. Touch your talent and gift. Colossians chapter 3, verse 12 and 14. The book of Colossians chapter 3 and 12 and 14 says, Put on therefore as elected of God, holy and believing, bold of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another, and forgive one another. If any man have equal against any, even as Christ will give you, you also do eat and about all these things. Put the charity, which is the bound of perfectness. What is saying here? Forgiveness. We have to forgive each other. If we don't want forgive each other, we not when we come together. If we don't come together, the Holy Spirit can't really work. So we have to forgive if our brother or sister do something else. Try to bring the unity. Try to bring togetherness. Let us look a few more things. What is, why we say, or what is when we come together. Amen? Amen. Before we're going to talk about a few points about to come togetherness. We're going to be just, I want to just talk one word, what I learned about a freedom word. I just, just learned about the freedom word. And that way you understand what I'm coming from and what I'm talking about here. Alright? You are with me? Yes. That's me? Amen? Amen. Abba Tu. Abba, Abu Tu. You know what? what, what? Abba, Abu Tu. Abu Tu. You know the meaning of Abu Tu? The meaning of Abu Tu. One people, one purpose. Hallelujah. Amen. One people, one purpose. One people, even we look different here, but we are one. Amen? Amen. We look different, but we are one. I have to make sure I'm going to come down and nobody going to sleep. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are one. Look at him. He doesn't look like me, but we are one. Hallelujah. Look at her. She's so beautiful. Right? We are one. We are one. We are one. We are not different, we look different, we are one because of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. One army, one nation, one message. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Again, I'm going to keep preaching. This is not my fault. <laughs> your major said, This is your name. <laughs> I said, This is Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, Abba to say one people one purpose. But sometimes even some of the word is coming from the community we don't understand. One people one purpose. But we are one. What is our purpose? To serve Lord Jesus Christ. 
Our one purpose is share his holy word. Amen. Amen. That's it, our one purpose. Are you doing very well? Give hand to yourself. You're doing very well. <laughs> one purpose, one people. And King and doing good. Because why I'm saying because I'm here today and you give me this privilege to share the word of God. So I'm not bragging about you. I'm telling you about fact. What I told you of pre-accountant number one in Salvation one. Hallelujah. Before I'm going to go further, I get the privilege to sit with the journal, the last journal. It is Danny Table. And I ask him, Sir, why not we can do something like they do in Africa and in Asia? I mean, go to March every Sunday or every once a week. He look at me. He look at me. He said, he laughed and looked at me and said, forget about that. You are good where you are. Because he, he, it means he just said, you cannot do what they do. Look very nice on them. You are, like for example, look at Mickey and uh, Timo, they are very good to play inside that monster, not outside. You can see that they are sweaty. <laughs> they, 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 they do a good job, I'm not saying, but they need more practice. That's what I'm talking about. So, one body, not only that, we are one but we have to be a one body. Romans chapter 12, verse 5 says, So we being many are one body Christ, and every one member one of another. Hallelujah. But Jesus reminds us that we cannot function alone. You heard that? Yes. Jesus reminds us we cannot function alone. Your man cannot do everything. I am amazed he was Going to open air, he stand in one place. Every leader come and do their part. Before we reach the mic and speaker already there, I observe everything. Then as a reach, you can see that it's not a first sign. They know how to line up. They line up so beautifully. The ghost make Timbo. They line up. They are going to the rhythm. I don't have rhythm. I don't know. I don't know how I'm banned in the church to clap anyone. But I can see that the those have the rhythm of the band playing. One body. It means band master cannot do without the ghost, or ghost cannot do without the band, or band cannot do without songster. We are one. Hallelujah. Amen. We are one and strong. We are one in a storm. We are together. We are together. Hallelujah. One body. And Christ remind us. Not only that, Christ remind us. Christ say, honor if you are joyful. Honor each other if you are joyful. It means when I see the joy, it means I'm so joyful to see you are joy. You sharing a joy with me. Not only that, once one suffer, other have to be suffered too. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. It means our brother, sister suffering, we have to suffer with them. You know, some people got sick. In the United States, what happened, you cannot go to somebody home before calling. You have to take the appointment, even that people sick. But, hallelujah. Yeah. Even we live in the United States, we carry the tradition. What he say we cannot live alone means if somebody gets sick, it's good to call them. It's good to give the card. But it's always go and visit them and wipe their tears. Yeah. And hold the hand and pray. Because touching is more powerful. Yeah. Yes, you are the far distance. You pray for the people. When you lay down a hand on the people, the power of the Holy Spirit will come. That's say one body. And Jesus 
should remind us we cannot do alone. Before we left, I told my congregation, we are a very small congregation, I said, one thing you can do. You hear me, everybody? One, can, one thing you can do, just keep praying that God will use us. Hallelujah. Amen. Because not my power, together we are one. When we go together praying, the Holy Spirit will hear and that God will bless us. Amen. He gives the Spirit, He gives the power. Because you never know today what we're doing, how the effect going to be take place after 20 years, like homely babies have said, so after 20 years, somebody's going to share that a yes, one that's happened one, one day. Amen. Some people just come and share the word of God. Because I told you the thing, the word of God is rock. Powerful. Yeah. Amen. You believe it? Amen. You believe it? Yeah. Amen. Say amen. amen. I don't want to you say I want to here in this around this area. I don't know. When I was sitting behind over there, I heard some different noise. When I say, Amen, I want everybody in this neighborhood to hear something going on. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. One body. He said one body. And God remind us. Not only one body, one spirit. One spirit. First one in the chapter 12, 30 say, For by one spirit we are all baptized Amen. into one body, whether we are Jew, Gentile, whether we are bound or free. And we have been all made to bring into one spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. You see that? Even when we don't care who believe what Jesus and this Bible say, but we still pray and think for others because we are one. Hallelujah. Amen. You heard that very clear passage. And I challenge you the word I the word I read from first one chapter 13. Go and find and search about what other people believe and what we believe. Amen? Yeah. Because we believe one army, one mission, one message. Hallelujah. And here also talk about one body, one spirit. Whether Gentiles, the Jew, they're born and free, they have been all made to bring into one spirit. What a powerful word. One spirit. First Corinthians chapter 6, 17 says, But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Not only he talk about one body, one spirit, he talk about one hope. Hallelujah. Amen. One hope. People lost a hope these days. I want to tell you, the country we live, the top country in the world, you heard me? The top country in the world because of the money. The technology. But you know what they have lost right now? They lost the hope. You will be really will be very sane when I said to them, to you. They don't know after 20 years where the country is going to be gone. They don't have any hope. They start, I don't want to go and start talking about something else, but you try to find what right now the top country where they are sent. But in the word of God, we have a hope in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Even we don't have anything, but we have a hope because we have a Christ. Amen. Amen. We have a Christ, we have a hope. What does hope say here? <sighs> Hope say here to us. First Peter three fifteen. But sanctify the Lord God in one our heart and be ready always give an answer to every man that asked you a reason of the hope that is in you with a meekness and fear. Hallelujah. Amen. The psalm says 
39 7 about the hope. And now the Lord, what we are for, my hope is in thee. Hallelujah. Amen. What is our hope? In thee. Not in the country, not in the money, not in the house, not in the job, not in the education, but in the hope in the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's keep going. One hope is in thee. The Lord Jesus Christ. One Lord. You hear me? One Lord. First Corinthians chapter 8, 6, 8. But to us there is but one God. The Father whom we are all things, we are Him. And the one Lord Jesus Christ by whom are all things and we, we by Him. Philippians chapter 2, 11 say, And that every tongue should confess the Lord Jesus Christ is the Lord to be glory of God the Father. Hallelujah. Amen. One Lord. We don't have so many Lord. We have one Lord, one Father, one Spirit. If you believe, you're going to promise. When you believe, you have a hope. You don't want to be hopeless. When you believe, you're going to receive the Spirit. When you believe, you have the power to do the miracle. That's why I told you in the beginning, me and my wife not decided to come here and things happen. It's miracle happen. Because your pastor has said, when he received, we are coming, he can pray. We have to take a lot of obstacles. The boys have to go to school. We have to get the permission from the school. In the United States, they cannot get the permission. Timothy had to go to college. Not finished one week. And he went to the college. He wanted to go to Kenya. And you know that what I'm saying to you. What I said, we go to Kenya. People say, what? Where are you going? You know where Europe? You know where somewhere else? You went to Kenya for vacation. Basically, they, they are very humble. They are saying, you go crazy. They are saying to me. But they told me, careful. It's not a good place to go. It's very dangerous. Thank hey, God. I'm not sick. Oh, you going to get this, 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 this problem. People want to, you know, they have kidnapping. Wait, today just name it. I, I'm telling you. It's not one person. So many say like, you, are you paying? I'm going to say like that. They say, are you sure you're going to go to Kenya? You know, they have a travel debt. You know, meaning of travel money means the United States say, if you go to, go to Kenya, if something happens, we're not responsible. Because we are citizens of the United States. So we already give you the warning. Do not go. If you go, you are your own. That's Mary what I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. It's not me. It's the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. This one saying, if you believe in miracles, if you believe in the Spirit, you believe in the power, it's here. It's here. It's here. And the closing of this, Romans chapter 7, 10 and 17. So that faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. One day of Captain Gatow was preaching. A lot of people were standing on the window. I don't know how many you pay attention. A lot of them pay attention. A lot of children, young children, they are paying attention. They hear the word of God. Amen. You heard that all said? Yes. They hear the word of God. And what he's saying in Romans 10, 17. So the faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. They're not here with us, but they hear the word of God. And the word of God is a power. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us become one. You heard the word of God. Let us become one. One in the spirit, one in the faith, one in the hope, one in the purpose. Because we are one army, one mission, one message. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's, the last shout the neighbor will wake up and say something on your salvation army. Amen! Amen! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! Let us pray with you this 
afternoon. Let us pray with you. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, this afternoon. Thank you, Father, your people hear your word. Thank you, Father, you allow your servant to share your word. I humble myself this afternoon because of you, Lord. Because I'm your child. Thank you for these people who open their heart, open their place to receive us because of you. Because we are one in you, Lord. Father, let the spirit of you oneness, let the hope of oneness, let one purpose continue to your children and let they share the joy of the Lord with us. Bless them, Lord. Bless them abundantly. Bless their family. Bless the work. Bless their neighbor. Bless the workplace. Bless the college. Bless the school, Lord, wherever they go. Let the spirit of the joy go with them, Lord. And let's see what is the difference between these people, what they're doing. They have you, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Multiply their talent and gift. How this young kiss dancing, singing, playing the instrument, multiply it, Lord, and use for your glory and kingdom. Use them in mind, Lord. How they taking the flag out of this wall. Bless them continually and protect them all the harm and dangers. Father, I ask everything in your wonderful name. And Jesus' name I pray. And everyone say Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. I was a candy to a delay. But I'm also challenged by our brethren. The members of the Seventh day Adventists. These people, they take just the whole day. Praising, praying, this is wonderful. Christo Adigitoa Safari Water. So that
The tune is 178. Yes. Kifungu cha kwanza na cha pili. I would also uh, suggest to ipe kifungu vitatu utakuwa na nafasi ya kuja and ili mjumbe kwa bwana atakapokuwa akiomba hoja zako you are needs because i know you have got your special needs they will be dedicated to god Daima nitashinda 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana mapenzi yako yamenileta. Ulikuja kwa sababu ya kumpenda Mungu. Ulipenda kwa sababu unataka ujazi wa neema hiyo yako. Upokee utakazo wake. Uinuliwe, uwezeshwe na ukaweze kusongeshwa mahali pale. As we see the fourth uh, center, please, huwe katika kiwango cha kujiweka kwa kemungu. And I will be now calling upon the servant of God to come and pray for those who have come to the masses seat. Twende. Thank you. Mufarikiwe sana. Mufarikiwe sana. 